Where are we going? It's not an island. It's not an island. Carling, I think. Muskoka. Today in this episode, we are going to Muskoka Island. To do what? We are going to go in a cottage, a cottage, and do canoeing and do forest play and jump on a trampoline. Why haven't we made a video in such a long time? Cause we're busy. Doing what? School. Say it again, Khadija. Who wants to draw me, Kaiya? Ibrahim on the drums. Okay, very good, thank you. We are making a video after such a long time because we have been busy, busy, busy. Ibrahim's been doing madrasa, Quran class, school, karate, skating, ball sports. Woo, that even sounds like a lot to yeah. say, right, Ibrahim? Nope. Yes. You like how much you're doing? Yeah. Khadija, you like how much you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm glad. So we finally had some time off to spend together as a family with our Baba, and we decided to go to Muskoka. Have you ever been to Muskoka before? Yes. No, that's the first time. Yeah, it was our first time. And you know what? We even before you guys, we never went to Muskoka. The first time we ever went. So tell and us the cottage. About it. And the cottage. We never rented a cottage before. So Muskoka has a whole bunch of cities. And the city we went to was what, Khadija? Muskoka. Do you know Ibrahim? Port Carling of the Carling. Okay. So yeah, it was Port Carling. That means that's where all of the lakes kind of come and join together. We didn't even know that when we booked, <laughs> but when we found out, I think it was so beautiful. Muskoka has thousands and thousands of lakes, it seems like, right? People yeah. have less cars and more boats. Yeah, you know what? There was a restaurant in Port Carling called Turtle Jacks, and people don't drive there. They, like, take their boats there. And there are so many big movies made in those. Uh, well, yeah, it was so beautiful. We went in October, and that's when most of the season was winding up. Uh, but we got lucky again because the weather was nice and warm. And it was so beautiful with all of the fall colors. The drive was nice. We also were had to find something that was close to home, right? Yeah. Because of little Hamza. We didn't want a drive that was too long. So Port like Carling, hours. Muskoka was... No, it was two hours away from home. It was, and it was not even that long to take. Yeah, it didn't it take was, that long. Yeah, for me, it was just like so cool. And that, was, and that was one hour. Yeah, it was so much fun. Do you know that this area? Last time we went to Arizona to visit my uncle, I went to we went to a cottage and it was in the wilderness. Um, and it was only three hours away from Arizona where we didn't have to wear any jackets or any coats. And this three hour drive later, there was about a foot of snow. We could toboggan, we wore full winter jackets. And you know what? There was no cell phone reception, no internet or anything. And that night when we got there, it was freezing. And we turned the furnace on. By the next morning, it was so nice and warm. But at night, we had to wear like an electrical heated blanket because it was so cold. And that's one of the best memories I've had. It was such a nice experience to have like no internet, no TV, no cell phone service, play board games, read books, enjoy nature. It was so fun. And this trip kind of reminded me of that, even though we went in a much different season. And I'm glad I can share that with you guys now. Yeah, yeah. And even though you were, you were, we were trying to take a TV day off because uh, the TV was not even that fun. So, Lake Rousseau is high, and Lake Ma Muskoka is low, and they, they alter the level of the water so they can go low, and they put more water so they can be higher. And in that thing we're seeing over in there, In that right? thing we see over yeah. there. It's like a bridge. It's kind of like an elevator. And it shoots water out, and it goes... 
It's like an elevator for the boats, right? It helps yeah. them get to the right level. They fill it up with water, yeah. and then when it gets to the right length, or they take away water because one lake's higher and one lake's lower. Yeah. yeah. And so for the boats to go there, they uh, make it kind of an elevator for them. And this this technology is 100, 1867, like almost like 200 years old. That's pretty amazing. Now we're walking around the beautiful Port Carling area. It was quite relaxing and the fall colors were blowing us away. Right, Ibrahim? Yes! So stunning and relaxing. We literally felt like we were walking inside a Hallmark video. I'm Ibrahim. Yeah, we both. No matter us. what. Yeah, no matter what. Okay, show us something and about the bed. I'm not coming up. <laughs> no tours for you. Ha ha. Where are you going? Bye bye. I just, I just woke up so I'm kind of um, cranky. We wake up like, I have, like a bad two hours early, I right? Feel like, um, I don't really feel like it though. I don't really feel like it. I don't really you like get it. super tired yesterday? Yeah. And it's pretty cold out here. Uh-huh, just stay here. No, it's so cold. He says it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It's cold, it's cold. It's cold. Hello, Mr. Hamza. As you just saw, the property had a boat launch which had kayaks, boats, canoes. They also provided firewood and it had many other properties on the unit as well. There were some new buildings being built and the house next to us had a jacuzzi. Our property had a sauna but we didn't really enjoy it. The weather was so nice we had a great time using all the boats and equipment provided. You did it, right EP? garbage and put it inside the that garbage using this kind of thing. We also got some we also got some we also got some firewood yesterday so we can make like a fire and roast marshmallows and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And we we made we made s'mores yesterday they were good. Uh, and this is our this is our car. Uh you know this is our car. This is our cottage. This is it's worth here. This looks kind of like a sauna. There's a trampoline. There's the ocean. Lake. La lake. Yeah, it's Lake Huron. I don't know if that's Lake Huron, but it is a lake. Yeah, it is lake. So it is a lot of lakes. <coughs> and 
We also did some kayaking yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was very fun. Another cool thing to do in Muskoka is visit the Terrence Night Sky Reserve. It's a great place to do some sightseeing and look at the stars at night. We weren't able to do it because of baby, but it's it's certainly on our bucket list for next time. Careful! Oh, 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 oh. You do it on the other side. Okay. Yeah. So it will be balanced, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need a hood. Your spirit shines bright, you're a beacon 
here we've come to the Lower Russo Falls track. Um, it's kind of a tricky track because you couldn't find the entrance, but it was absolutely beautiful. Be careful of coming with kids because it's a little bit slippery over there. But it was super beautiful. We had a great walk. And uh, there are much more better and marked trails over there. We just didn't uh, find the brochure with it until later. But there's a whole bunch of uh, trails and beautiful parks to explore over there. This was so beautiful in the fall because of all the trees. In Muskoka, you can also have other activities such as looking at cherries um, and exploring many of the boat rides as well. Take a deep breath in three, two, one. Port Carling at the port they offer many boat tours um, we went at the very end of October and we were lucky to get the last week that they were still in service it's quite a relaxing experience um, just look at those beautiful fall colors we were so blessed to get such wet, warm weather at this time of the year um, you know a slight hoodie was just enough most areas and shops in that part were about to close down for the season and call it the end of their season but we were blessed that we were still able to enjoy the time there um if you are going at the end of october my suggestion is to keep your own food um and have everything you need in your cottage because you know stores are closing down we eat halal so we took all of that food with us and it made us much less stressful we didn't have to go look around for food we could kind of hang out go look around and come back home and eat a warm delicious meal and 90 percent of Hey, Ibrahim the nature boy. Now, there is only Ibrahim here. No one else. You want to say something? Yeah. Yeah, see? Uh, when I'm kind of doing a kayak, when I see it, it kind of looks like VR. Ah. Here we can actually see the lock in action. Here's a boat coming in by itself. We were especially sur surprised by just how easy it was for a single person to manage this all on their own. Here you can see the person hopping out of the boat, 
uh, changing the levers and then he hops back into the boat and this is a single individual person and he can kind of operate this by himself. We were surprised because we've seen in Pakistan that even an elevator has another person um, and this person's just job is to run the elevator and this you know the whole boat can be done and there's no additional personnel required and it can be done independently. We found that quite neat and um, we were pretty impressed by that. We forgot to put in this stunning clip of the Lower Russo Falls earlier, but you can see just how slippery it is, so beware with little kids. And right now we're in Port, Port Carlin, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of boats in this area and docks, but unfortunately none of them are open. This uh, it's pretty like Hallmark style. They're gonna open uh, tomorrow early in the morning, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And it's actually a nice place. The cottage had lots of facilities like a trampoline, parks, and canoes and kayaks which made for a great trip. We had a wonderful time here and we can't wait to be back. Okay. Enjoy! <laughs> We also checked out some other attractions in the nearby city, such as Bracebridge, but because this is the end of the season, it seemed to already have been closed. Next time.